And Literally what I was talking about. <laughs> it makes it unnoticeable <laughs> to accentuate those details. Nope. That that, that's exactly what I was saying. I'm, I've, I really feel vindicated that <laughs> they're pointing out exactly what I was talking about. That feels good. Hello everyone, I'm Rosphere, and I want to talk about these graphical updates uh, that came out in this live letter from 11 months ago. Um, normally I wouldn't talk about stuff like this because these live letters and stuff like that, I've watched a couple of them in the past uh, for, I don't know, like 30 minutes or so. They almost never have information that uh, <clears throat> myself as like a new player understand anything about because they're talking about updating systems and introducing things and changing things and all this stuff about things that I've never even heard of. Uh, so I have no like input or feedback or any any way to like react to be like, oh my God, they're changing this thing. It's going to make the game so good. It's like, I have no idea what that is. Um, so there's, there's no reason for me to react to these things. But this is a graphical update and... Uh, at least for this small section, they talk about it. And uh, I have a bachelor's degree in game art. I um, have worked on three separate games at this point and uh, released them all. I'm not going to tell you what they are, obviously. I don't want uh, people figuring out who I am. Uh, but I work in uh, environment art specifically. Um, it's uh, something I do as a hobby at home as well. Like It's something I have a lot of fun with. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I have a, like a professional look uh, at what they're talking about here. So I, I can actually talk about this one, at least this small little section. So I'm going to snip it up and uh, go through this to kind of keep it short and concise. But uh, with that being said, uh, let's get into this and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and react to what they're saying and I'll give my thoughts. To assure you that we will um, continue supporting for PS4 at least until 7.0. But it's good to hear that they're going to continue support for that because PS5s are impossible to get. Uh, thanks, scalpers. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what this is. Uh, the pores are huge. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't like that. I'm assuming that's not what they're, what they're going for. That seems uh, not within the same realm style-wise as far as like... Uh, uh, what the current game's like style is. Although it's still really low poly, you can like see. Uh, I'll just draw with my mouse here on the screen. You can kind of see. Um, uh, you, like you've got straight line. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three. Like you can count the the polygon faces on this. You know, around the ear. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's even. It's still like super incredibly low poly. Uh, I don't know if they increased the density of the mesh at all, uh, or they just put like a, a realistic looking skin on it that kind of looks like rubber. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, get back to the video. Oh. oh, they laughed at it. I think. What people's reactions are. Is he like looking to like read chat or something? <laughs> Some people think, oh, yeah. is that me? So, so, so. Like, so, probably, this is not your name, probably, you know, not to make it. I'm probably going to skip past this. I think this is what we are looking for. This is not what we would desire. Mm hmm. <laughs> Some people are saying this looks like a very tired Yoshida. So, Yeah, it, it, it kind of does feel awkward. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I thought that they weren't going to put that in. It's, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> they were going for more photo reel, though, it seems like, in that video or in that uh, screenshot. まあ、いわゆるフォトリアルを追求していくと、グラフィックスアップデートってこっちに行きがちなんですけど、おそらくファイナルファンタジー14のいわゆるフォトリアルを追求していくと、グラフィックスアップデートってこっちに行きがちな
Yeah, photorealism is generally a bad idea for an MMO, anyways. So with these graphical updates, we are already starting testing, actually, and it's been about a month and about a month and a week. ま、これだったらもう、ま、今出してもま、いけるだろう、ここまではと。ま、これ以上目指すんだけど、ま、少なくとも一旦お見せしてもここまでは間違いなく大丈夫であると。なの点ゼロで。っていうのを用意してきた
uh, when you don't have enough um, uh, pixels, right? So when you get over here, you, you see that there's a little bit here, just a very, very little bit here in the tip of the hair. But uh, you can already see that the resolution of the texture is incredibly high compared to the other. Um, and again, I'm not really like a character artist myself, um, but this is just, you know, it's a clear like uh, fidelity, fidelity increase uh, and texture improvement. Like you can see that there's a, um, uh, a wetness here in the eye where there isn't on the other one. You're getting better reflections, all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's, this is way better. Way higher, way higher res. The mesh is higher res. Um, oh, that's funny. You got the seam around the neck. <laughs> uh, that's because it looks like they just textured the head here, and they haven't textured the rest of the body. So if you look here, it's like this is the, this is the the body texture is the same on both. So they literally just have the heads retextured. But yeah, that's that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip through these a little bit. Um, I'm assuming they're all going to be like similar increases in it. Like, yeah, you can see polygons here again. Uh, yeah, it's harder to see around the face here. Like, they probably didn't need to increase much. The ears definitely increased in polygon faces. Uh, there's another one, I think, right? Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, I don't like this. Um, I hope the pores aren't that big. The, the pores in the skin are bothering me. Um, but he has crow's feet. It's way, way more high fidelity, stuff like that. This is the same ear as on the human head, uh, which bothers me a little bit knowing that it's the exact same. You can tell it's the exact same, right? So if I, uh, if you look here, the ear, just look at the shape, uh, immediately, like that was the first thing I saw. So we'll go back here and we'll just boom, same shape. It's exactly the same. It's modified slightly. It looks like, and on a different tilt, but it is the same yeah. Yep. That bothers me a little bit. I don't know why it bothers me, but it does. Um, just because I immediately, that was like, it popped in my mind. That was one of the first things I saw. So let's uh, let's go ahead and skip here. I don't want to skip too far, but I don't want to look too much at like the, this show. How, how far is, okay, they show those there. I'm not going to react to the whole thing, obviously. I don't want this video to be hours long. <clears throat> so... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, skip forward a little bit here, and we'll go there. What's this say? Uh, character appearance updates to the high resolution textures, improved material quality. Yep, we saw that. Better lighting, we saw that. Uh, overall appearance, player characters. It's just it's way better. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's skip to here. See what they're saying. Releasing these different um, gear <clears throat> and the different designs that um, is available. So I'm afraid we are unable to address it fully to match something that of a like a standalone game. Sorry. So then, next is this. So it's a little BG. Map に関わるところもテスト一ヶ月ちょっとのサンプル持ってきました。Okay, so this is kind of what, more what I wanted to see. It's for various backgrounds and like map elements. So this first image is a test of just simply the number of lights we can place in a certain scene without it touching any of the textures or surfaces. Okay, yeah, so this is just them increasing like the number of lights. And within games that's that can be really difficult uh to do specifically like um just as an example, um within Unreal Engine, I forget the exact number of lights you can have within a scene casting shadows, but you can't have every light in the scene casting shadows, or they just stop working. Um because you don't want shadows like going 10 different ways and it, it just looks uh it looks unrealistic even though it is realistic i guess um but having lots of lights in the scene uh is really intense on a graphics card um it can be really difficult for the graphics card to render too many lights um because it's trying to project the the ray tracing from the lights to you know produce shadows and so on and uh figure out how the surfaces are reacting with certain things and you know all that stuff um this is better here. 
uh, they obviously focus the lights more within the the background here and the shadows are way better obviously like you can see like there's a huge difference in the tree uh, it's shaded the way you kind of would expect it to the lights glowing out of this uh, the side here look kind of more how you would expect it to you get reflections on the wall uh, from the you know the blue light to there um, same with this here you got some reflections uh, it's giving the scene way more depth uh, it, it's it's glowing up here the kind of the way you would expect it to if it's lit from the ceiling down um, you don't have this these weird uh, these hard edged like halos here because lights generally don't do that they kind of flood an area unless they're like specifically um, they kind of flood an area uh, unless you specifically have it set up for a scene uh, to highlight something uh, but in this in this instance uh, not lighting the walls kind of feels weird this is on the right is kind of how you would want it to be done uh, this is like on the left is like uh, if you had somebody who wasn't a lighting artist to do it, this is how they would light the scene. But then on the right, you have a lighting artist uh, who did it. The only issue is the the shadow on the desk on the front here. You're losing like all the detail. Uh, you're not really seeing the desk here. It's just black uh, on both of them. Uh, the shadow underneath the desk is better, but on the front there, it's just it's not what you would expect to see in in real life. So. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue to see what they have to say about it. So we just added a few more lights in a particular scene, and it, the, what you see is in the, the right side of the image. あの、ライトがですね、遠くに左側ね、1等しか焚けないので、ちょっと見てほしいのは、手前側にあるデスクに影がほぼ落ちてないのが、右側複数ライトによってちゃんと影が出るようになってるでしょ。so if you look at the one on the left, um, we were only able to place one light source in the scene, but in the picture on the right, we were able to place multiple lights to, to give it a more realistic look and... Okay, I'm not saying that he's lying, uh, but it looks to me as if there's multiple light sources, specifically because you have this halo here and here, right? I could be wrong. Um, but those, the, it looks like there's two light sources in the scene here, just just based off of the way that those shadows are, uh, and it it doesn't really matter, right? Like I'm just saying, like immediately, like I don't know how, wh unless you like placed a cutout over the top of the singular light source to make it look like there was multiple light sources, which I suppose you could do. Um, I've never seen anybody do that, but you can do it. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's two light sources here. There's one here and then there's one here. Um, these things here, like uh, this is not a light, although I don't know. Like it looks like it might be because it's brighter here around it. This looks like it might actually just be a light source as well. Uh, I don't know. Probably not. That's more than likely just emissive and it's kind of like my brain telling me that this is brighter here. Uh, underneath the lamp uh, but yeah so and same with these these would just be emissive layers that look like they're emitting light but they're generally not sometimes uh, like older game engines didn't really like use un unless they baked it it's possible that they baked it uh, in there and that the light source isn't there um, yeah and this is emissive layers here like the the blue glow here is emissive this is uh, these are emissives so those aren't actually lights, they just kind of look like they are. So, yeah, moving on. Um, I just wanted to point out that it looks like there's two light sources in this scene uh, from what I'm looking at. As you can see, the desk is now casting a shadow. To be fair, it's casting a shadow on both, it's just washed out underneath here, it's too bright underneath. And of course, um, I think one of the key uh, changes that you can see is because we were able to place a light directly on top, um, you're able to see some of the details that would have been kind of hidden behind a shadow. And so I think with allowing for more lights to be placed, it will kind of 
give you a, a better impression of some of the atmosphere and in some of these locations. The Sarani is Nick. Okay, let's uh let's go back there. Some of these okay, so uh yeah, that, the the issue with this one is is the lightest plate. Like you said, it's placed directly on top, which means to me they probably placed it like right around here. Uh, and if you look at the shadows over her face, it, it is like being cast this direction, um, left to right. So it, it the the light is probably placed right around the top of this to make it look like this is lit, um, and that's why the the shadow is so harsh uh, underneath the desk here, and it, it washes out the detail on the front. Um, because the the game is thinking that it needs to make this black because of the overhang, uh, and that can be fixed with uh, you know other kind of other other lights around the scene um, to to make it so that it's not so black because you're lo you're losing all the detail here. You have more detail on the top, I guess, um, but the desk is not. It's it's by far and away like the last thing in the scene I would focus on even a little bit as an artist. Like everything else looks incredible. In the back, like absolutely incredible. The tree, the you know, the glow, everything, the reflections on the materials, like all the lights, everything in here is just better. Like up here, it's lit from the top down. You don't have these harsh uh, halos here. Uh, like it looks like a realistically lit scene. Um, and the desk is the worst, by far, the worst part about this whole thing. Um, the it looks to me like the lighting artist set it up specifically to pull your eye towards this portion uh, of the scene um, because of the way that it's lit, right? Like your eye just get, gets pulled up here. Um, so I don't know why he focused on, on the desk there because that's by far the worst part uh, and the worst example of the increased detail, in, in my opinion. Um, but Yoshi P, is, I don't know if he's an artist. Uh, I don't know what, uh, I just know that he's the lead uh on the team i don't know anything else about him so uh moving on patience <clears throat> next um you see titania uh and her current or in their current state so this is where we tested out um how shadows appear Okay, yeah. Obviously, like, the shadows are way better here. Um, you just have higher resolution shadows uh, being cast, um, which, which is kind of what you want. This is more or less, like, the lowest level like, of detail you would want in, like, a single-player game. Uh, it, it's harder in uh in multiplayer games because lighting is way more expensive in uh in multiplayer games um but this is way better because you can immediately see like uh multiple areas where it's penetrating through the leaves down uh into it where here you just have like these big squares big honking squares and you know the shadows are just unrealistic um and it it, it helps a lot like it's noticeable here but if you look into the back of the scene uh you're getting a lot more shadows within the back. They did more for this picture than just shadows. There's a lot of lighting updates that went into this as well. Uh, it looks like there's uh, improved, um, or they increased the number of lights within this one as well. You can immediately see that. Um, the light, the color of the lights are different, um, and they match more of like these like grand uh, stained glass windows coming out and the light that would be cast through those because they do create different colors and stuff like that. And you're seeing that reflection in the material here. So it's this is more than just shadow update. This is like uh, full-on light and materials uh, update, it looks like. Uh, I could be wrong, and these are the same materials, but they're definitely reflecting the light way better. And it's possible that it's just uh, um, more lights. Like It looks like they took a point light and they put it here uh, for these. Uh, pulled out from the windows a little bit but not much because you can kind of see like it's a super hard highlight of red above the uh, the windows um, so you can see kind of where the light is itself it's like right around here uh, ish like yeah it'd be like right around there on each one of the windows um, and it's got like a reddish hue to it and it's uh it's casting down and out um, to get these red reflections here in the front 
they would have had to have like a red light out in front of it as well. Um, or it's reflecting off of the, the red carpet here and bouncing over to here. But that seems like kind of an unrealistic bounce to me. Although that you do have the glow up top, but then again, that could be cast from a point light up. Uh, either way, like the lighting in this whole scene is amazing compared to this. This is, this is bad and this is really good. Um, it's even bringing out the detail within the character a lot more. Um, and the character, as far as I can tell, has not been updated. Uh, it looks fairly identical from one to the other, uh, as far as like fidelity goes. I'm not seeing like any extra like polygon faces in the in the wings or anything. They look they look the same. Uh, so the lighting itself just improved. Um, and then they're they're showing using this to show the shadows because it's like the the biggest difference. Um, I guess within the scene, but again, I'm my eyes kind of like pulled to the back because of how good that is compared to this. Like it's such a huge upgrade. Um, like if you look here at the top, for example, you're losing all the detail uh, there. You're you're not losing as much detail here, right? So you're losing less detail in this. Uh, you right above the windows, for example, like you have these here. I didn't even notice it in the left image. Um, you have these like. Uh, silhouette things up here at the top you can hardly even see them on the left side so it's bringing out a lot of detail on the roof you can see like uh up here the trusses and stuff like that the way that those are um you can see them over here whereas on the this side you can't really see them as much the game looks way better on the right just hands down uh it's more more like i said it's way more than just a shadow uh update there's more lights and all kinds of stuff in this scene so this is where we tested um, the texture as well as the calculation formula behind how we're um, displaying the shadow underneath Titania. And we believe that we are able to improve the quality and the resolution up to what you see on the right image. あの、かなり複雑なライティングの絵作りっていうのができていくようになります。And as you can see, um we have multiple lights also again in this um updated picture and then plus we put some colored lighting. So the Okay. Yeah, so they're talking about the stuff that I was just talking about like there's more lights and colors and stuff like that. So, yeah. The background is exactly the same, and it was actually quite intricately built, but by having these different sort of lighting available to shine on it, you can see the complex details that was part of the structure. Yeah, it really brings out the detail that was lost, like I was saying. Titania's <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel vindicated in a way having Yoshi P like say what I was saying and just agreeing with what I was saying. Um, one thing I do want to clarify because somebody pointed out um, they liked the look of the original Titania where it has that sort of mood with all the, the muted colors. Um, Yoshi, I want to or I want to point out that um, this is the the developers actually brought to me a, an example of what improved graphics would look like with that stayed within the color palette of the original picture but that's very much in the developer's mm. perspective and i i wouldn't be i wouldn't be able to tell the difference of um what has improved that's why i had requested my designer to intentionally place red lights something that's more obvious um just to show an example so don't worry this is not what we're trying to do we're not trying to like destroy the at atmosphere um, the designer was very mindful about keeping the tone of the story but um i i wanted a mm, that's good to know i don't know anything about the story myself for this just wanted to clarify that <laughs> And one part that I do want to point out, um, if you look at the upper part of the image um, where the stained glass is, 
これ左と右マップのポリゴンは何も変わらないんですねテクスチャー解像度も変わってないです、うん So, just reiterating that we have not changed any of the, the polygons that are in the map、um, layout. We did not improve any of the textures here. なので、ライトを変える、複数置けるようになるだけで、実は BG アーティストたちがこだわって作っていた箇所っていうのが、より明確にちゃんと見えるようになるんですよ。左は全部影で潰れてるんですけど、もともとちゃんと凹凸あるんですね。And so,、um, this is what I'm trying to show with this image is that by being able to place multiple lights in a scene,、um, we are able to showcase the details that our background artists have put into the structure. So,、um, above these stained glass, you might see these sort of like tiered、um, sort of molding on top. And literally, what I was talking about <laughs> makes it unnoticeable because it's kind of. Drowned in the, the shadows. So,、um, by being able to place multiple lights, we're able to accentuate those details. Now, that, that that's exactly what I was saying. I'm, I, I really feel vindicated that <laughs> they're pointing out exactly what I was talking about. That feels good. Um, so, when we were talking about adding multiple lights,、uh, the background te team definitely had a very、uh, strong reaction to that. さあで次はですね、えー、こちらは金属表現を、えー、っとその質感を上げますというサンプルになります。So next sample we want to show you is、um, how we depict、um, like the texture of the metal、えー。こちらもですね、デザイナーの趣味というよりはですね、あの悪趣味なぐらい変えてくれって言ってるので、<笑>それをご承知おきください。<笑> And of course, this again is supposed to be an example. And so I asked my designer to make it very <laughs> gaudy at this point. <laughs> so please understand it is not necessarily the designer's choice.、Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see what he means. Like he, he pushed it really far. The metalness is it's too much.、Um, but with, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Like this obviously already looks better than this one. Um, you can see it brings out like the difference in the materials themselves a lot more, right? So, this this itself doesn't on the left side doesn't really come across as metal, it may be like a really tarnished metal. Um, but uh, the, what's, a, what's a good way to put this? If you look at uh, like up here on the crown of this elephant, we look at the crown of the elephant here, um, and you see the colors. Going through that are would likely be paint on top of the metal. The difference between this material, the pink and the gold, is basically nothing. It looks like the same material, right? Like it, it looks all like it's the same material, even like where it's glowing in the eyes.、Uh, the other like paintings on the ears and all this other stuff, like the high detail in the back,、uh, you're not really seeing、uh, a lot of like pop. I guess, right? Because the materials are all washed out and they're within the same、uh, like value range as far as like、um, metalness goes, right? So,、uh, and metals, metalness is a term that we use like unironically.、Um, uh, <clears throat> so, it, it, like, it doesn't look like metal when you look at it, especially when you have the painted next to it and it looks just like it.、Uh, another good example here is like.、Uh, In the leaves here in the background, like you can see that there's some really intricate detail, and somebody spent hours,、uh, a lot of time, like、uh, putting all this effort into carving like all this intricate detail into it,、um, and then baking the texture to make this look the way it does. And then you lose all of the value because the metalness is not correct in the, in the、uh, roughness map and all that other stuff.、Um, same thing with uh, 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 same thing with like this here. This is a, a shadow issue.、Um, you're losing a lot of the detail because of shadows.、Uh, same, same with down here. You're losing all the detail with shadows、uh, because of the shadows. And again, like,、um, you're having a hard time differentiating between this material and this material here. Like, they look like they're the same material.、Um, the coins that are falling aren't really, I think they're coins at least. They're not really casting reflections the way you would expect them to as they're like flipping through and like reflecting light. Uh, you are seeing some like shiny like stars here, I guess, but that doesn't make it feel real. That's more of like a particle effect that's going down.
um, because again, you're losing a lot of the the detail of the light because of the light or detail of the coins falling. Um, it's kind of melding into the background because of the way that the lighting and the shadows are set up. Uh, this here in the foreground, um, again, like you're you're looking at this, and when I look at it immediately, I kind of assume that it's a a roughed up plastic or uh, something like that. It doesn't feel like metal. Um, and you're losing some of the detail up, up top here. It just looks flat, even though you know it's not, right? And that's because of the reflections. Uh, you, you're getting some weird bending of the textures there, too. That's just because of the UV map. It looks like it was probably off. Uh, it wasn't UV mapped correctly. Um, that's not something that's like a huge issue. It's just, I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm assuming it's a UV issue. Um, anyways, uh, and again, you're, you're losing, you're, you're getting some more detail down here. Uh, within this, but b again, because the the textures aren't there, it's you know it just feels washed out. Um, I'm assuming this is water here in the front because you're is that reflections? I'm I'm thinking you're getting a reflection here. The reflections isn't aren't very good. Again, that's a lot mostly lighting. Um, you're losing uh, all all the detail up here again. Like there's no detail on these arches, even though you can kind of see that there's meant to be. It's kind of crunchy looking. Um, yeah, uh, and Here's, this is a good example of why, uh, <clears throat> not just the texture wise, but this is a good example of why the aesthetics of the game feel old and dated. Uh, it's because you can see these hard lines, right? Like again, this is a great example of like being able to count the polygons. So you can count there's one here, two, three, four, five, six. It, it's an octagon, right? You can tell that this is an octagon and you don't want that. Um, for stuff like this, if it would be really nice if they could update like the actual density and and just double the polys right uh just just pay for it um uh it, it's something that we say in uh, in game design a lot and i'll show an example of it here uh just pay for the bevels right so if, if you look at uh the image i'm showing here i'll show like uh, uh a cube with bevels and a cube without bevels uh, or something like that i'll just put something together in blender real quick but um if you look at the the one with just you know the the hard edge corners, and then the one with the the bevels in it, uh, you can see a huge difference. Um, and it's not that much higher poly. Uh, it's easier to just pay for it. But again, because of the uh, I'm assuming because of game engine limitations and uh, console limitations, they can't do that. So it's kind of disappointing um, that we're not going to get like huge environment like increases uh, as far as like poly count goes. But uh, yeah. Uh, let's let's see what he has to say about it. Uh, so up <laughs> this is a very real chance that they're not using PBR based textures uh, uh, within within Final Fantasy, so that's probably why. Actually, we trusted left side screen is gold. Up until now, but now it only see brass, not gold, no more. That guy's English is really good. I don't know why they don't speak more English, but yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, they only see brass. Um, and that, that is kind of what it is. Yeah, it looks like a very tarnished brass. Um, thank you for that. But um, yeah, again, we we're trying to make improvements to the material quality, so the look of uh, metallic surfaces as well. え、さらにですね、続いてはマップに使えるメモリっていうのもえっと上限を上げてあげようと思っているので、えっとそれによってですね、より多くのオブジェクトが配置できるようになっていきます。I feel like I know what he was talking about. I don't want to take a guess, but I feel like I know what he was saying.
Next was to look at the memory resources allocated to rendering a particular area on a map. Yes, yes,、um, okay. Looking to raise that sort of cap so that we can place more objects in a particular field. まあこれ左側が現在よくちょっとあのマトシャと出会ったりするところですけど、うん、こんな感じになってますこれ現在ですね。So, the left side,、um, you may remember your first encounter with Matsya. Nope. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I guess that's stone. It look,、um, what is that texture? Is it this? Is it the same texture from the wall? It looks like the texture from the wall. And they just placed it here, and that looks. It looks bad.、Um, that aside, this, like this stone here, this, this piece, this slab looks really good. This looks really good. I'm not sure what this is. Those streaks look. Uh, very unrealistic. They probably did this really quickly to kind of put this together.、Um, but you can already see, like, you're getting more polys from one to the other. Because、uh, this isn't something a texture will do、uh, to get this difference here, like these different angles and stuff like that. Like, these are individually placed.、Um, and I can't tell. It looks like there might be a bevel there. It looks like we might have bevels. I don't know if we've got bevels. <laughs>、um, anyways. Uh, this, this looks better with the exception of these here,、uh, because that texture just feels wrong to me.、Um, maybe I'm wrong. I could be,、uh, but it feels wrong.、Uh, there's obviously a lot more, like, oh, there's barrels here. You got the crates.、Uh, there's, all, there's a lot more objects within the scene, which is nice to see.、Um, you do have some awkwardness with like, the, the bags here in the back that aren't there. Like, those look like, yeah, those are new. Um, the way that they're stacked,、uh, it looks like they aren't. I don't know. It could just be the depth of the scene. No. So, yeah, see, you have this crate here. here. I thought maybe these bags were on top of the crate in this one because these bags are in front of it, but they're stacked. And the bags are flat, like sitting on top when they're not meant to be that way. It looks like this asset wasn't meant to be stacked like that.、Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Obviously, that won't make it into the final product. Uh, yeah, you got a lot more detail in this、uh, as far as just like objects placed around the scene.、Um, I don't know if this is how the scene will end up looking. I personally wouldn't place so many of them around.、Uh, personally, uh, I wouldn't place so many because、uh, it, it feels、uh, like some of these are in unrealistic locations, right? Like, why are these on the steps here instead of up here with those? Why are the sacks on the steps?、Uh, <clears throat> some of these things are they're placed in. Uh, places that you wouldn't really put them、uh, if you were actually moving these objects around in a port, which is kind of what this looks like. It reminds me of a port. There's a boat here.、Um, there's certain ways that you would place things within a port so that they'd be easier to access and that have like a flow to it, right? You don't just kind of throw things around.、Uh, and it feels like these were just thrown around,、uh, probably just for demonstration purposes, to be honest.、Um, they weren't placed with like,、uh, how, is, how, is,、um, how do people live here in mind? It was placed to just kind of show off like the number of props that they want to put in the scene. But、um, that's not really like what I'm interested in either.、Uh, if you look here, like over here, there's nothing, right? Like you've got nothing around the edges.、Uh, it's just a flat, hard line. And that's one of the biggest issues with, uh, with,、um, with environment artists、uh, that are kind of new.、Uh, they don't really understand、um, where, like how, how, Dust and dirt and stuff gathers against the edge、uh, of an object, right? So, like along a crease here, or, or not along a crease, along a corner here where there's not much traffic, like foot traffic, nobody's walking there.、Um, you'll end up with more stones and like crunchiness in the sand and stuff like you have over here because、uh, nobody walks on it, right? It just kind of gets baked、uh, and the wind will blow things up against the edge. It stays there. Nobody walks on it again. So, you end up with、uh, vegetation growing up against the edge. That's why stuff grows. Uh, against concrete. It's not because it likes to grow there, it's just because it doesn't get stepped on.、Um, and、uh, obviously, like these artists are not new, right? This is just a limitation of what 
they weren't allowed to put in previously. So now that they're able to put those in, it's going to look really good because right now you have like hard straight lines. There's nothing in it, just hard straight lines all the way across. Uh, it, it feels wrong when you look at it, like you just focus on the edges. It's just like, yeah, this isn't good. Um, over here, you can see vegetation in the back even. Uh, there's vegetation here along the edge. There's new texture on the ground uh, to show that nobody really walks there, right? You have the barrels uh, set up there, which you probably don't need. Um, it, uh, having the, the vegetation put here and then the barrels there kind of makes it look like they've been permanently there for a long time. But within a port, they'd be going in and out all the time, so this would be a high traffic area. But um, anyways, uh, you, you story tell with the environment, essentially, is what you want. And then there's... Uh, there's actually like stones, like small stones here. I love this kind of stuff, just sitting around vegetation here. Nobody walks here, right? So things have started to grow and gather and collect over here. This is just uh, how things work. Uh, there's stones like set up here all along the edge. Vegetation in the background here again, which there isn't on that. Uh, it's breaking up the lines of the image, which is just really, really important. Like, like the, the left side looks like it's unfinished. The right side looks like it's finished. You got a big you know boulder here. Again, like it's all gathered in the edge where nobody walks. Like this is this is perfect. This is what you want to see uh, along the edge here up top. You can see there's vegetation in the back. Vegetation uh, looks like maybe yeah. Even up here at the top right, you got some more vegetation here breaking up the lines of the image. Uh, yeah, it's just all along. Uh, it's all breaking up the image um, in a much more pleasing natural way. Uh, it's just uh, there's a lot more crates and things that are placed around. There's too many in my opinion. Um, maybe a little bit less going on and more order to it so you can story tell with the environment slightly better but uh, this is this is way better on the right with the stuff that they added to it so yeah with that being said let's uh, let's go ahead and move on and see what Yoshi P has to say about it and with testing um, we are seeing that we could possibly place more objects like these えっと、左と比べてですね、やっぱりまず注目点としてはその1枚のループで作られたその階段状になってる部分っていうのがそれぞれ素材違いをしかもこう組み合わせでえ、ずらして配置したりすることによってこう使い込まれた感とかより出せ
Next is, I believe, the last set of samples that、um, I've seen for the background elements. こちらです。我々開発チーム最大の敵、自動草って呼んでるやつ。これは。So、is, Don't look at the grass、um, that close. It's terrible. <laughs> pet peeves, arch nemesis, I should say. These are like these automatically generated grass. これがですね、カットシーンのチェックをやってるとですね、割り込んでくるんですよ。自動で生やされるんで。多分カットシーン作ったスタッフの時には生えてなかったんでしょうけど、僕がチェックするときは生えててですね、このジャギジャギがすごい入ってくるんですよ、カメラに。And this is, this is so, it takes away from cut scenes when it, when it barges in. I'm sure when the cut scene team is creating the Composition, they don't see the grass because this is just automatically generated after the fact. But sometimes it's like so close up and it's so pixelated, and that pixelation is it was it, it bothered me very much. ヘルメスがこう仮面を外す、うん、あそこがですね何度チェックしてても自動草が入ってくるんですよ<笑>で頭にしちゃうんで<笑>もう BG 班に頼んでこの辺もう草生やさない設定にしてくれって<笑>あなるほど除草剤を巻いてしまったんです<笑>
undertaking it would take uh it would take years of work and hundreds or thousands of artists uh to to redo basically all the objects and get them placed in the same way uh and get them to look uh authentic in the correct spot right like you would you don't want to update the game and then have it change the character of the entire game uh, and change the feel of the entire game um but yeah, uh, and you also don't want to end up in a situation like World of Warcraft's in where they're constantly having to go back and update the old graphics because every single gra- uh, expansion they're like, uh, we're going to up the fidelity here. We're going to up the fidelity. We're going to up the fidelity. And then you end up with like eras of the game. It's like you can tell this car- this portion of the game was made in 2004 and this portion of the game was made in 2022. Like that's not okay. And it, um, it's bad game design to do that. Right, like it's just not a good idea to put your game into eras, I guess. And at least uh, as far as I can see so far, uh, from what I've seen of the end game, even as far as like, because uh, I, I, I did play Shadowbringers a little bit uh, when I skipped through a bunch of stuff. I saw uh, all that stuff, and it looks, uh, it, it looks like it belongs with the rest of it. Like you could put uh, a lot of the stuff from Shadowbringers into Old Da. And you would not know the difference, even though they were made in entirely different times, you know, time um, time frames, uh, entirely entirely different years. Because the the artist team has continued to work within the same constraints and the same art style, and they've kept it all consistent, which is really really important, especially to me uh, for for them to do. And it's really difficult to do that, especially knowing there's systems out there like Unreal Five, right? Like you could potentially take like the game or Final Fantasy, put it into Unreal 5, and then instead of having a really super small budget for polygons, you could end up having a, you know, a, a next-gen resolution um, budget for polygons on the screen, and you could have people making high-quality high, high quality stuff. And uh, the difference between like UE5 right, and the Nanite that it uses and what other games use is UE5 is a software increase it does, that doesn't rely on hardware as much which is the important part. Um, you can put full on high resolution, high resolution sculpts into a scene and you can put hundreds of them in there with tens of millions of polygons on each sculpt, uh, right? Tens of millions of polygons on like a barrel, right? You, you know, just as an example, you don't need it, but you can, and it's not going to give you a hit on your performance because again, it's a software increase, not, uh, it's a software, um, improvement that doesn't rely on hardware which is just uh it's the holy grail uh as far as like uh game art goes um so you're gonna yeah uh but you can't expect them to move the game into unreal 5 it's unrealistic uh it's unrealistic to a level of uh absurdity right like you don't want to do that it would change the feel of the game anyways uh the game looks great as it is uh, having fidelity like you have here on the right is going to be way better. Just more stuff, breaking up the image, uh, you know, getting um, grass and things like that popping up through cracks and uh, having multiple textures on the ground. Like, this is this is huge. Like, this is going to be so good, and it's not going to change the feel of the game at all, which is really important. Uh, you want the game to, to stay uh, as pristine as possible in its original state um, without... Um, you know, while being able to update things without ruining the old things, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, um, I don't really have anything else to go over. Cause again, I don't have context for anything else they're talking about. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope maybe you learned something. I had fun talking about it cause this is something I'm super passionate about. Obviously the video is an hour and 15 minutes long or however long it's going to be at this point. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.